so yeah we'll start there so yoga nidra it's um it's not just for meditation and relaxation although it is a beautiful tool for that we can also use it for therapy so you can write a yoga nidra specific for a person for an ailment or for a problem that you've got going on or you know never mind the sankalpa the sankalpa stands on its own you know to to do whatever it wants to do um so yeah so that's one way in the yoga nidra is very very useful is for for therapy for you know person so how that would work is i would do an interview with with you and then go through a list of questions to get to the to the bottom of what's going on you know you can use it for anxiety and depression um sickness all sorts of things so that's just putting that out there as well there is you know it's so much more than meditation okay so i think we'll get started so yeah so relax obviously relaxation and you know getting in touch with our inner and outer worlds and starting to feel inside of our body it's also a really good catalyst for for doing those sorts of things as well so let's get started. So if you don't like to assume the position, <laughs> so that's laying on the floor in Shavasan. If you can all turn your videos and sound off, that's great. I will turn my video off as well. Just so the bandwidth's better. Okay. So welcome to the practice of Yoga Nidra. I invite you now to assume the position of Shavasan on the floor, which or your yoga mat or the bed, whichever you've chosen for today to support you. So that's laying on the back, feet hip width apart, with the feet gently falling out to the sides. Arms are about 10 centimetres away from the body. Palms can be facing upwards or down with the forefinger and thumb gently joined together if that's comfortable for you in this moment. So tuck the tailbone under a little bit, lift the buttocks. A little wriggle about here, finding the optimum position to lay on the floor for about 30 40 minutes. Bringing the awareness up the spine, tucking the chin in just a little as well, just to elongate the spine. So we'll work out the body, so all the parts of the body that are connected to the floor now. So just a final scan of of the heels and the floor and backs of the legs and the buttocks and the floor. Playing with the, the shoulder blades, playing with the space between them again for optimum relaxation and optimum comfort for your body in this moment. I want to play with the spacing of the arms a little. Some tiny little minute adjustments can make all the difference here. So moving into a, a state of relaxation. If you haven't already closed the eyes down Please do that now. And we're just going to relax all the muscles in the face, the forehead. Let the jaw gently drop and the tongue fall to the bottom of the mouth. Relaxing the cheeks, the temples and the neck and the head and the shoulders. So 
One last scan. Move if you need to. In order to stay lying still for the practice and duration of Yoga Nidra. And become aware of all the parts of the body that are touching the floor, the heels, the calves, the buttocks, backs of the arms, the back, the shoulders and the back of the head. And feel them all relaxing and falling deeper into the floor. Bring the awareness to the breath. And with every inhale, the body expands. And with every exhale, with every out breath, the body falls deeper and deeper into the ground. And become aware of the top body. It's all of the parts of the body in space and become aware of the vast limitless space that surrounds the top body. Again with the breath, in the out in breath the body expands. And on the out breath, sinking deeper into relaxation now. Now bring to mind your San Kalpa. This is the short, succinct sentence of what you would like to do or have. It's framed in the now and often starts with I am or may I have. Always framed in the positive. I can rather than I cannot. If you don't have a Sankalpa, that's okay. You can use this time to cultivate the new seed of intention. And if you do, repeat it to yourselves three times now. Letting go of the Sankalpa and moving on to some sound awareness. Become aware of the sounds within your room. Searching and seeking, moving our awareness from one sound to the next. Not trying to analyze that sound or name it, just using our sense of hearing. We hear the sound, we'll let the sound go and we search and seek for the next sound. Searching and seeking from one sound to the next, moving that awareness and take the awareness outside of the room. Take that awareness farther and farther away from the building, out into the distance, searching and seeking, moving the awareness from one sound to the next.
moving the awareness around. Looking for the next sound. start to bring our awareness back still searching and seeking for the sounds coming back towards the outside of the room and bring that awareness back into the room searching and seeking for the sounds within the room And now bring that awareness within your own body, searching and seeking for the sounds within your own body. Letting go of that. Letting go of that, remember to stay awake during the practice and to follow my voice. Moving on to some body awareness. Starting with the right hand thumb. Imagine, feel, sense. You may want to repeat the body part as I say it. And take your full awareness now to the right hand thumb. Feel, sense and imagine. It in space, the space around the right hand thumb. Forefinger of the right hand, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, back of the hand, palm of the hand, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, Armpit, right side of the chest, waist, hip, right side of the thigh, kneecap, shin, top of the foot. Your right big toe, full awareness to the right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe. Fifth toe, moving the awareness to the left side of the body, full awareness to the left hand thumb, full awareness to your left hand thumb. Forefinger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger, back of the hand, forearm, Elbow, top of the arm, shoulder, armpit, left side of the chest, waist, left thigh, kneecap, shin, ankle, top of the foot, your left big toe, take awareness to the left big toe. Second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Moving some awareness of the back body, soles of the feet, heels, ankles, calf muscles, backs of the knees, back of the thigh, buttocks, lower back, upper back, shoulder blades, the space between the shoulder blades, back of the neck, back of the head, crown of the head, 
forehead, temples, eyebrows, the space between the eyebrows, full awareness to Brahmadia, the space between the eyebrows, the eyebrow centre. Bridge of the nose, <clears throat> eyes, cheeks, tip of the nose, nostrils, lips, teeth, tongue, chin, throat, pit of the throat, full awareness to the pit of the throat. Collarbones, chest, upper abdomen, navel centre, full awareness to the navel centre, lower abdomen, pelvis, your right leg, your right leg. Be aware of your left leg, the left leg, your right arm, your right arm, the left arm, the left arm, the torso, the torso, the spine from base to top. Spine from base to top at the centre of the head. The head. The head. Your whole body. Become aware of your whole body lying on the room in the floor. Your whole body. Letting go of that. Letting go of the body awareness. Moving on to some breath awareness. Become aware of the breath at both nostrils. Flowing in and out with every inhale and exhale. And take that breath on the inhale up to the eyebrow centre and beyond through the crown of the head. Just breathing in both nostrils up through the eyebrow centre and out through the crown of the head and breathing out back through the crown of the head the eyebrow centre and out through both nostrils breathing in both nostrils eyebrow centre crown breathing out crown eyebrow centre and both nostrils on the in-breath, mentally repeat, so. And on the out-breath, mentally repeat, ham. So, breathing in both nostrils, ham, breathing out. Extending this now, take the breath from the soles of the feet, right up the body and out through the crown of the head, passing through the eyebrow centre. On the exhale, back down the body through the eyebrow centre and out the soles of the feet. Mentally repeating so on the in-breath and hum coming back down the body on the exhale, continue. So on the in breath, ham on the out. If 
feeling and guiding the prana from the soles of the feet up through the top of the head and back down. So hum. Letting go of that, letting go of the breath awareness. Remember to stay awake and following my voice. Moving on to some feelings. Feelings that you know, have felt before. Feel them throughout the whole body as I say them. And starting with the feeling of tired. Feel within your whole body the feeling of tired. Energized, feel within the whole body the feeling of energized. Hot, feel within the body the feeling of hot, feeling hot. Cold. The body's feeling cold. Feeling cold. Separation. Feeling separation. Separation. Connection. Feeling connected. Feel connection. Now say some images, bring them to the mind's eye. A rock. A rock. A rock. A traffic jam. A traffic jam. A traffic jam. Fierce ocean waves. Fierce ocean waves. Fierce ocean waves. A roaring campfire. A roaring campfire. A roaring fire. Birds flying high on the thermals. Birds flying high on the thermals, birds flying high. Busy city streets, busy city streets, busy streets. The flame of a candle, the flame of a candle. A candle flame. Wind whistling through the trees. Wind whistling through the trees. Wind whistling through the trees. A crescent moon. A crescent moon. A crescent moon. The infinite night sky. The infinite night sky. The infinite night sky. Letting go of the images. 
Now see, sense, imagine, feel a yellow square. This yellow square is floating or hovering above your body, situated from the soles of the feet up to the lower pelvis area. Now feel this symbol gently starts to land on the body between the feet and the lower pelvis. Feel the yellow square gently land on the body and go within. On every breath, on every inhale, imagine the colour yellow getting brighter and brighter. And on the exhale, imagine the colour yellow fading. Getting brighter on the inhale and fading on the exhale. And mentally repeat the sound, LAM. Feel the sound vibration and mentally repeat on the in-breath, LAM. Moving up the body slightly. See, sense and imagine a white crescent moon. It's from the knees to just below the navel. The crescent moon is in a U shape with the points of the moon facing upwards to the body towards the head. The crescent moon is white and hovering or floating just above the body from the knees to below the navel centre. Now feel this symbol gently land on the body Knees to the navel, below, below the navel center. And again, gets brighter on the inhale and fades on the exhale. And mentally repeat the sound, VAM, VAM, VAM. Moving further up the body. So floating above your body is an upside down red triangle. The point from the navel centre to across the shoulders. An upside down red triangle. I feel this upside down red triangle gently fall towards the body, land on the body and go within. 
gets brighter on the inhale and fades on the exhale. And mentally repeat the sound Ram. Ram, Ram. Moving up, see, sense, imagine and feel a hexagon. The hexagon, the bottom of the hexagon, the tip is at the throat. With the two sides coming up from the throat towards the sides of the head. And the top. is at the eyebrow centre. Floating above the body. Now see this symbol again starts to gently fall towards the body. And mentally repeat the sound Yam 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 And now take the awareness above the head. See, sense and imagine above the head, a few inches above the head, a sphere, a black spot that are all the colours, a bit like pixels or the foundation of light. The sphere has no defined edges. Yeah, and it gets brighter with all the colours on the inhale and exhale. It fades slightly. You may see the sphere pulsating. Mentally repeat harm, harm, harm. Letting go of the imagery and be aware of your presence in the Chittakash space, the vast limitless space of the mind in all directions. Not trying to make anything happen here, just being present and aware and allowing whatever to unfold, unfold.
Letting go of that, letting go of the Chittakash space and bringing to mind your Sankalpa. That was the sentence um, of something you'd like to manifest in your world that you said at the beginning of the Nidra. And repeat your Sankalpa to yourself three times now. practice of yoga nidra is now complete bringing some awareness back to the body the whole body become aware of the whole body lying in shavasana on the floor become aware of your whole body Aryam tatsat practice is complete bringing some small movements to the body Moving the feet from side to side, the hands from side to side and the head gently. Becoming aware of the breath. And rolling onto the right side and taking three deep breaths here. And then sitting up, still with the eyes closed, we'll chant the sacred Om together. Take a big deep breath in. Aum. Thank you. Namaste.